Well, guys, it is officially Wednesday, which we all know what that means. NFL week number two predictions. We're going to talk about the games that are this weekend and obviously break them down in little clips for you guys as well. We're going to talk about each game, talk about the factors, what to watch for in each game, and a lot more of the stuff to come on this channel. But first, if you guys are new to the channel, obviously be sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn that bell on. We do our best to post on this channel every single day. With that being said, it's week number two in the NFL, and it's already here. Cannot wait. Let's go ahead and hop into some NFL week number two predictions. All right, so obviously the first game on the schedule is the Vikings and the Philadelphia Eagles. Expect the Eagles to blow them out of the water. I think the Eagles are going to take the win at home here. Yes, it's the Vikings. They have Justin Jefferson, the best receiver in football right now. But the Eagles' D-line is really, really good. Jalen Carter has been absolutely amazing for the Eagles so far. As much as I hate to say it with being a Cowboys fan, but I genuinely think that one of the Eagles are one of the best teams in the NFL this year once again. And obviously, I have the Eagles taking the win at home against a Vikings team who struggled last week as well. But, obviously, some things to watch for on the Vikings sides. Look for Jake Jettas. Obviously, he's going to be getting in there a lot. So, look out for the Minnesota Vikings offensively. But defensively, the Eagles should be able to handle this job very, very much. And I think the Eagles are going to come away with an astounding 30-20 to victory over the Minnesota Vikings on Thursday night primetime. But moving on to the first Sunday game of the day, and that is the Green Bay Packers and Atlanta. And I'm struggling to pick this one as well. Atlanta plays really, really good on the road, but Green Bay looks surprisingly good. I had the Bears winning that game, I think. I'll go back and check and update you guys on my record for week one. But I expect that the Falcons are going to win this game at home. This is a different Falcons team from what we've seen in the past, usually. Bijan has been electric this year. Kyle Pitts so far has been getting numbers as well. Drake London, the rookie wide receiver, has been getting a lot of snaps headed his way too. Desmond Ritter, all they need to do is up their defense a little bit and get Desmond Ritter up to speed. And this is going to be a scary, scary Falcons team. That, I think, is going to come away with the win against Green Bay at home. I just think the Falcons play too good at home and that the Falcons are going to take a win at home against a Green Bay Packers team. Moving on, you got the Raiders and the Bills. And honestly, this is going to be a really, really tough game. I expect Josh Allen and the Bills to bounce back at home. So therefore, I'm picking the Buffalo Bills here. But the Raiders, on the other hand, looked pretty dang good in their, in their season one opener against the Browns. Yes, Josh Jacobs had 48 yards and on 19 carries. But the Bills struggled on Monday Night Football against the Jets, and we saw that with Zach Wilson as well. So if the Ra if the Bills play like they played on Monday Night, then they're not going to get the win against the Raiders team. But if Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs keep finding their rhythm and obviously get bounced back, hopefully Gabe Davis gets in there a little bit, and obviously the defense steps up just a tiny bit, I am expecting the Bills to get the win at home. So I'm picking three straight home games home teams here, excuse me, for this week, and the Bills are, should take the dub at home. Moving on to the next game, though, is the Ravens and the Bengals, and I'm struggling here. This is going to be a, one of the better games in the 12 o'clock window. I think the Ravens are going to take the win on the road. I just don't think Joey, Joe Burrow is up to speed yet after signing that massive contract. Both quarterbacks, by the way, signing record deals this past offseason – but I'm expecting Zay Flowers to be on point once again for the Ravens. Expect um, OBJ and Lamar Jackson as well. The running game for the Ravens looks a little iffy since they don't have J.K. Dobbins in there as well since he's out for the year. But on the Bengals side of things, the Bengals, the only way they w I see them winning this game, number one, it's at home for the Bengals, so that should be a little bit of a tougher indicator. But number two is if the Bengals and get Joe, Jamar and Joe back on that connection. Obviously, I know they've lost some of their safeties, but that really shouldn't be an excuse for the Cincinnati Bengals. But I'm taking the Raiders here, or the Ravens here, on the road against a struggling Bengals team who looks to bounce back in week two. 
Moving on, you got the Seahawks and the Lions, and obviously, I'm picking the Lions here at home. After that showing against Kansas City and how Seattle played this past weekend, they played like absolute dog water as well. Lions, on the other hand, played great. Expect the same. Expect Brian Blanche to get in there as well. Expect the defense to be good for the Lions. Expect Jared Goff to be on point again. But I'm taking the Lions at home as well. If they can beat the Chiefs on the road in Arrowhead, yes, they didn't have Travis Kelsey, but still, they still won that game. If they can do that, then they can definitely beat the Seattle Seahawks, who struggled a lot this past week. I just don't see the Seahawks winning this game once again, especially after how they looked this past weekend. I'm taking the Detroit Lions at home. Moving on, you got the Chargers and the Titans, and both teams 0-1, struggle in to pick this game a little bit, but I've got to go Chargers here on this one. I think LA is the better team here in this one, especially after what happened last week against the Dolphins. Yes, Brandon Staley is their coach. As long as he's their coach, he's going to allow the defense to score points. Now, you don't want that necessarily, but if you can get a big enough lead to where it doesn't really matter, then I think that that's going to be the case for the Los Angeles Chargers and the offense is going to be on point. Justin Herbert should be on point, as well as the defense should have a really good game as well against a struggling Titans team. So, I'm picking the Chargers here. Brandon Staley, you better not let me down. And moving on to the Bears and the Buccaneers and Bucks 1-0. I honestly think that game was a fluke for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I think this first week was... Uh, Justin Fields has to get in rhythm with DJ Moore and his other receivers. He has an all, pretty much an all-new receiving core, just like Bryce Young does in the Carolina Panthers. So, therefore, I am taking the Bears here to upset the 1-0 Buccaneers on the road as well. You heard that right. Mark my words. I am taking the Bears here and Justin Fields on the road. Moving on, you've got the Chiefs and the Jaguars. This matchup is going to be really good. It's a rematch of the Divisional last year as well. But... Kansas City, on the other hand, got absolutely embarrassed on Thursday night football primetime in their season over. I, if you're the Chiefs, that's something that doesn't happen. It's like Alabama or Georgia when they get embarrassed. They bounce back, and obviously they have a good game. And unfortunately for me, I really want to pick the Jags here because of how well they looked this past weekend with their running back core. The team all looks great. The defense looks pretty good. But... It's the Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, and Travis Kelsey looks to be back this week as well. So expect the Chiefs to get a win and obviously avenge their Thursday night primetime loss to the Detroit Lions and expect them to show out because they got embarrassed on Sunday night or Thursday night primetime. Moving on, you got the Colts and the Texans, a battle of rookies here. I'm going to go Colts here. I just think they're the better team. Anthony Richardson, the Michael Pittman connection looks on point. Michael Pittman looks to be putting up numbers for fantasy football as well this year. So if you have him, I would start Michael Pittman in fantasy football this week. And expect Anthony Richardson to obviously run the ball a lot this game against a struggling Texans defense. Now, on the Texans side of things, C.J. Stroud obviously did not look that bad. He had 242 yards in the, in the season opener. So that's not that bad for the Texans. But... Will Anderson Jr. is really their only defensive player, so if you can contain him, then the Colts should be fine. Expect Anthony Richardson and the Colts to get their first win on the new year. Moving on, you got the Niners and the Rams. I think this game's a fluke, or the Rams game at least was a fluke. I'm expecting the Niners to ball out here, and I'm going to be taking the 49ers here to get the win on the road in Los Angeles. Moving on, you've got the Giants and the Cardinals. And man, oh man, oh man, let's talk about the New York Giants for a minute. My Cowboys obviously showing them what's up. 40 to nothing on national television. You cannot do that if you're in New York. This game better be 21 to 0 minimum for me for the Giants if the Giants want to make the playoffs and expect me to call them a playoff contender because they should not have lost 40 to 0 on national television to the Dallas Cowboys. That game should have been a lot more close than it actually was. I'm expecting the Giants to get a win, but bare minimum, it's got to be a 21-0 win for the Giants. They better hold the Cardinals to, obviously, I don't freaking care about the Cardinals. They can get the freak out of the way, but I'm taking the New York Giants here on the road, 
21-0 minimum Giants. Brian Dayball, you heard that correct. Moving on, you got the primetime game. The afternoon primetime game on Sunday is the Jets and the Cowboys. I'm taking the Cowboys here. I just think with Aaron Rodgers being out for the rest of the year and Zach Wilson is first start this year, it's going to be tough for the Giant or for the Jets to find a rhythm. Yes, they beat the Bills, but they barely held on to that. Cowboys, us Cowboys on the other hand, we just talked about it. 40 to nothing against the Giants. If you can keep doing that, your offense it needs to get a little better. The offense struggled. The defense is what carried that game for me as well. And special teams look pretty dang good as well with that blocked kick too. Expect the Cowboys to blow the Jets out of the water. I'm going to say 20 to nothing or something along those lines of a Cowboys victory in Texas. Moving on, you got the Commanders and the Broncos. Expect... Sean Payton to get his first win as a Broncos head coach. Yes, I know the Commanders won last week, but they should have won by at least 35. That game shouldn't have been that close. Sam Howell should have played a lot better than he actually did. Terry McLaurin should have been on that game too. But I'm expecting the Denver Broncos and Russell Wilson to get their first win on the year for week number two. And the Broncos to be 1-1. One one. Both teams looking pretty good to start the year, though. I just think that Sean Payton and the Broncos are the better team. Plus, it is a home game for Denver. So, expect Denver to be on point And expect the Broncos to start off 1-1. One one. Moving on, you got the Sunday night football game. And I really think they should have swapped this out with one of the earlier games of the day. I'm not sure which one, though. But, the Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots. An AFC East battle here. Early season battle. Tua balled out last week. I'm picking the D Miami Dolphins here on the road against a struggling Patriots team whose defense did not play particularly bad. They played pretty dang good, at least for the second half. They held them there as well. But I'm still expecting the Dolphins to get the dub here. Obviously, Tua, Tyreek balled out too. Raheem Mostert had a touchdown as well. They got everybody involved that game. So expect the Miami Dolphins to get the win in New England on primetime. Well, here it is. The Monday night games on the day. Of course, I had to change jersey jerseys. This is the debut of the Bryce Young jersey. As you guys can see, it is very, very big on me. It goes to about here on the sleeves too. Lengthwise, it's really not that bad. It's just right here and obviously on the sleeves too. But it's wor we're working with what we got here. I am obviously going to take the Saints here on the road, sadly. But, of course, I had to change into the Bryce Young jersey. Support your boy, Bryce Young. Expect the Panthers to give the Saints a hard time, though. But the Saints are going to win this game. They have every reason not to win this game as well because, obviously, of how well they did, how poorly they played against a Titans squad that nearly struggled. But... I'm picking the Saints here on the road. As long as Dennis Allen doesn't really screw this over, I don't really see the Panthers hanging in there. I think that Derek Carr and the New Orleans Saints will go on to 2-0 on the road in Carolina. Moving on to the final game on the week. Obviously, the real Monday Night Football primetime game is the Browns and the Steelers. I'm going to take the Cleveland Browns here. I really like Deshaun Watson, how he played this past week. I mean, Kenny Pickett struggled a lot this past week, especially against the 49ers. Yes, the 49ers are really, really good defensively, but Kenny Pickett struggled. Nicholas, Nick Chubb on the ground had a pretty dang good day, as you ask me. Therefore, I'm taking the Browns here on the road. Expect the Browns to stay hot and obviously get the win on the road in Pittsburgh. But, obviously, that is just my NFL predictions. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, turn that bell on. We do our best to post on this channel every single day. With that being said, I'm going to hop off, get this edited so you guys can watch it on time and work on my other channel video and watch Ahsoka. But, as always, thank you all so much for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video.